You see that? That's a camera. Yeah. See Dad? He's hooked up to a jack of valve to top water. Yeah. yeah that's pretty big. Uh huh. IG, instantaneous gratification. That's one of them Italian fish. That was no bait, right? That was just straight oh, throwing out of... That was a topwater plug, yeah. Oh, wow. Guess what? You're the first one that caught a fish on that topwater plug. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. <laughs> I have not caught a fish on that thing yet. Yeah, he hasn't landed it yet. Oh, my God. That's a... Got that. Everybody wants one of my Daiwa Ryoga $500 reels, that reel right there. Well, guess what? You didn't catch a small one. That's true, damn it. You did not catch a small one. I can feed us for another few days if you land this puppy. Just hang on to him. Because he's going to, when he gets in that current over there, it's, it's, Katie, bar the door. What? Huh? She's anchored. Well, you're on a trolling motor and I'm drifting. Yeah. I see sun. He said he's anchored up. I see sun. You're anchored up with a trolling motor. Yeah. I know, and I'm drifting. Yeah, why are you anchored if you're trolling? Hey. That's what Captain hey. David. Oh, I see sun. What's that? I see sun. You see something? Yeah. Everybody on a trolling motor can kiss my butt. Because <laughs> guess what? They can move. Okay, just ease back. Water. Right, you're gonna have to play them on that rod tip, man. That's the water. Yeah. Oh, the water. That line of line out. Oh yeah. Fishy. Let's check that spool. That's a fish. Oh, you're about a quarter down. Really? <laughs> you're about That's a quarter down. down. This is a big jack. I thought this was gonna be a little five yeah, pounder. I thought it was a little one. You should have yeah. handed it to him. Like, oh, it's a little I'm one. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a uh, this is a serious size here. Either that or. I don't even see him jumping up yet. You're gonna fish in a, in a minute? Only if dad gets this to the boat. And that's a fairy wand, too. That's a real fairy wand of a rod, too, ain't it? Old pitch motor. Oof. We got a big one on here in the first two seconds of being out here. I haven't caught a dang fish on this. That's a needle fish lure that I got all the way from China. I got <laughs> before I got the hat. before the, the plague. <laughs> when you can get stuff for it. Oh, you can still get it. Trust me. I just got some recently. Oh, come on, where is that? Maybe it's not a jack. I think it's like a baby shark. It could it could be a black tip. That could be a hundred pound black tip for all we know. The black tip's been out here busting. Black tip shark. What's that uh, rod rated for? Not that. <laughs> it's rated for a five pound jack reval, not a god dang, not whatever this is. Not whatever this is. The, the net may not be the right deal with this. I got a giant fish grabber over here. Hey. That dag. There we go. He's coming up. Hey. Is he? Hey. Is he really? Mm. Green. Could be fighting a tiger. Yeah. Green. You see green water. Green water. How did that thing work? Green water. Oh, reach out and touch me. It's a gynecological green device. <laughs> reach out and touch me. Alright. You tired? Yep, just let him play. We got it. We got we got time. We got time. Oh, you almost lost your hat, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, you're seeing it for the first time. I twitched. That this is a um, a needlefish lure from China that I got, and it's really, really nice one. I'm glad I got like four of them in case I lose one. 
I'm going to swing around on him a little bit, throw him a little bit different curveball here. And that rod, that's what I use for, for, for sea trout and redfish up in shallow water. So we may not have a jack cravals we're busting, folks, all up by the rocks. And that's what I thought we were going to get is a jack cravals. I don't think this is a jack cravat. Hang on to him. I think we got a black tip on him. <coughs> I think we have a black tip. I think he smoked it right there when all those jacks were there because he's there to eat the jacks. The jack Ravals. You said that's like a, they can get up to 100 pounds? Oh, black tips? Yeah, I fished for them behind these shrimp boats out here all summer long. And on heavy tackle, they'll, they'll absolutely brutalize you. This is how we do it with a Daiwa Ryoga. <laughs> That's a reel that a JDM reel, Japanese domestic market. They don't make, they don't even have them in the United States. They brought them back to the United States, but they're different. We're just gonna have to wait this dude out because it turns out to be a lot bigger than I thought he was gonna be. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm not really a fisherman. I'm just surprised it takes this long. <laughs> this is eight minutes. This is just the beginning. All right, folks. We we may have to get back with you. Let's see what it is. Uh, a glance would be all. That's all we're going to need. Because I don't think I'll ever see this lure ever again. <laughs> Because I'm not going to be able to get it out of his mouth very easily. Oh, Hold on, Micah. My poor Ryoga. This is why you fish Daiwa equipment, folks. <laughs> this is the reason you fish Daiwa. Uh, All right, there's Micah. a giant black tip. Look Micah. at that, folks. Come here. Yep. Come here. Look at that, folks, on a top water plug. Look shark. at that. Shark. Daddy caught a shark. That is a brute. That is a brute. Woo! I can't, I can't do anything with him. Get him off. I know what I'm going to do. Yep. Let's go ahead and stand up and kind of get in the middle of the boat here so we don't have too much rod. If he decides to go, oh, he's going to go again. Okay. Try to do donuts on them here. Oh my God! That if that was behind a shrimp boat, folks, that would even be an absolute brute. And we just did it on a topwater plug. Unbelievable. Wait, you get that? Yeah. Got it. One more try, and I'm just gonna grab it. Just this cutters? Oh, it'll. It's just gonna snap as soon as I put tension on it. I've had 90 pound. Uh, uh, Sevalon cable just snap. I've had Sevalon cable snap and hook straight just by me tight lining them at the side of the boat. This is a monster of a black tip, folks, and he ain't coming off. He, he ain't coming back. I guess I'll have to change the drag washers in that <laughs> Oh my god, this thing. Hold on, hold on to me, buddy. Hold on to me. We were at the jetties. Way over there, folks. My poor Daiwa Ryoga. Yeah, Daiwa. Me. <laughs> well, I know, but uh, yeah. hey, hey, man, look, look hey. at those god dang right, meats. Good. Look at the meats on this dude. He can handle it. This is Zan. That fish got the right one today. <laughs> I do this. This is what I do. California tunas. Yeah, this is as close as we'll get to a tuna here by looking at the at the inlet. See the shark? We don't get any tunas around here. Oh, that's terrible. 
I mean, either way out, you get him. He's swimming toward me. Oh my Let's God. Go I'm surprised he ain't come up and jumped. I know. Because they, like, they, they do some ungodly jumping. Yeah, uh, I didn't wanna, see. On, I, I don't know if it's 100% in his mouth or not. Well, you're about to get a closer look. He is tired. There you go. Put that on, buddy. Trying to give him a little uh, carbon monoxide there. That's the good thing about life preservers that big on those kids. It's like a little bouncy. Exactly. Things. They can bounce all over the place. <laughs> I had two of them one time that were running into each other and bouncing off and then landing on the floor. And Graham, Grandpa had to put a halt to that. <laughs> Look at my top water rod. Oh my God. It's like. We hooked a Jewfish one time at those jetties too and fought that forever and a day. And then the, the uh, a $200 G Loomis rods, the whole tip snapped off of it. Ouch. We never even got to see them. We saw a shadow swim by the boat. That's all we saw. Man, he is. This thing, he's playing every game he, in the book here. They do. They they all play the same games. Here he comes. There you go. This is serious light tackle sport fishing, folks. Oh, oh. I'm surprising me. It's right here. Micah. Yeah. Ready to see a shark? Yeah. That's our idea. I might have to send that one back to Iowa and get it rebuilt. Well, we ended up at the shrimp boats. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where can he go? Coming up, coming up. Huh? I want to get up. There he is, there he is. Okay, there he is, folks, and we're going to... Right in the lip. Right in the lip. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get that back. Yeah. So let me just grab that leader. Micah, scoot back. Huh? Micah, scoot back. Come here, here, Micah. Come here, come over here. Okay, here he is, folks. 30-pound test leader. He's going to hit the side of the boat. There he is. I don't think I'm going to get those out. That's a shame, too, boy. I don't know how I can get that out. See, I, you, see the, you see the shark? There's my top water lure, Gary. It's all tore up. It might bling. Be careful, it might bling. I know. He's wanting that. I don't know if I'm going to go. I can't get that out. How am I going to get that trouble hook out of there? Oh, yeah. That's way too close for comfort right there. Atta boy. Wow. Well, that's what we didn't want. Yeah, they're usually about six, six and a half. That I threw that top water plug in in a school of Jack Cravals, and guess who ate it? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, let me. Let's see if I can. Real tight. Yeah, just hold them there. Yeah. See if you can hold them. Let's see if I can get the deep hook. All right, I went with gloved hands, and I thought maybe with my D hooker pole, and it is getting really choppy out here. I thought with my D hooker pole I could get down there and get a treble hook and he popped it right there right there when I went to try to see if I could get the lure out of his mouth so that was one light tackle battle.
I might have to send this back to Iowa. <laughs> we'll see how she casts. Well, maybe she held up. <laughs> she did a hell of a job with me. <laughs> maybe she that. held up because guess what? She's still buttery smooth. Buttery. Buttery, baby. Buttery. So. The man came all the way from California to hook into a shark on two line of tackle in the first two minutes. <laughs> now he needs a power bar. <laughs> Captain Dave fishing, check him out. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't always play shark fishermen on on trout tackle, just on YouTube. <laughs> we'll play him in real life. <laughs> yeah.